A lot of Arabic sounds belong to the alveolar ridge, which is that bony part behind your teeth. And today we're going to take a look at how we can properly pronounce these sounds in Arabic. In total, there are 10 sounds that are produced from the alveolar ridge. And the alveolar ridge is located right here so that you can see it properly. Most of these sounds are quite unique and they make Arabic a unique language that stands out from other languages. This lesson is meant to teach you the proper technique to pronounce S sound coming from the letter SAD. The most obvious thing we can start with is that SIN and SAD do not produce the same sound. So S must not be confused with S sound. While both are pronounced at the alveolar ridge, the shape of the tongue makes all the difference. As for the sa sound, the tip of the tongue is moving downwards behind the lower front teeth. Remember, without touching the lower front teeth. The back end of the tongue is raised, but not touching anything either. So your tongue should look like that. The tip is moving downwards and the back is moving upwards without touching anything. Air passes through and the sound is produced through the friction happening at the alveolar ridge. Remember, the most important part in pronouncing the S is that the back of your tongue is raised. It must be raised. Otherwise, you will end up with a S sound in which the tongue looks like that. The tip of the tongue will also be downwards behind the front teeth, but the back of the tongue is not raised and this produces that S sound. If you're still struggling to get it right, you can take set sound as a starting point and then try and force the back of the tongue slowly upwards without touching the roof of your mouth. So you would be starting like s, that is starting point, you're starting at set sound and you'll be starting like s. You're going to try to force the back end of your tongue upwards without touching the roof of your mouth. And to help you hear and identify the differences, here are some minimal pairs. First, need to focus on hearing the sound and then try to replicate it. You can produce a sound that you can distinguish. So, notice how I pronounce these words. Sar, 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 kasr, kasr, qasr. قصر فرس 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 Notice how the lips are not doing any work at all. If you move your lips or make any movement, that is not the proper sound. Here are some examples. Listen to them. صبر صبر نصر نصر فرص فرص As you can see, my lips are not moving at all when I'm pronouncing the S because this is what is supposed to happen. So this is going to be the end of today's lesson, everyone. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and share the video for other people to learn from it. Thanks and see you next time. Salam.